Hey everyone, welcome back to another plan with me. Thank you so much for being here today. This week I'll be planning out the week of October 19th through the 25th. And I'm using a kit from Nicole Alexia Designs. This is actually a kit that I've used before, but she changed a few elements of the kit, like the bottom washi this year. And so I decided to pick it up again and it's just beautiful. So why not use it again? So I have not found date dots yet. <laughs> I don't have a lot of gold foil in my collection. So I'm either going to write those dates in by hand or just figure out something else. So the base of the kit has already been laid down and now I will just speed you up and switch to a voiceover and we can go through the day by day plans. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of walk you through my planning instead of doing a voiceover this week. Um, so I'm starting off Monday in the clinic. I did the PM clinic last week and this week I'm on the AM clinic. And so I'm just putting that in with a half box from the kit and then a little Winston. It actually looks a little crooked. <laughs> so this Winston is one of the fall ones that is drinking coffee and it's just so cute. And, oh, I hope this doesn't mess up the sticker any. Uh, it may just have to be this way. <laughs> That's just how that sticker is going to be now. So then after clinic, I went by and got a car wash. I've been meaning to do that for a while. I have a monthly subscription to where I can go as much as I want, but it has been raining a lot lately and so I haven't gone as much as I would have liked. Okay, so I'm gonna move down to the bottom. So I know I have Big Brother this night. Then I'm gonna see how spacing is gonna work out for the rest of it. Okay, so I'm going to put in a little checklist to mark a few things that I needed to do this day and just kind of make sure that it is a catch-all area. So I had a few phone calls to make. So today I just needed to call our venue where we're having our wedding at. Um, we haven't actually heard from them in a while and I'm just kind of wanting to check in with them. And then I needed to schedule a doctor's appointment and pick up some new medicine or refill that medicine. And we are also still writing our thank you cards from the couple shower that we had, a, I guess it was a couple weeks ago. And so just kind of finishing up there. I was wanting to put a header behind my workout script for this day, but let's see how this one looks. I don't know if it's gonna be a lot of bows. So I don't wanna put it too close to this other script, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a lot of bows all together. I guess once you put it over it, it covers a lot of the bows anyways, so that'll be fine. So then the only other thing I have for Monday was studying, because <laughs> that is my life. So I'm just gonna put that in with a, I guess this is a half, or no, a quarter box size label and just, it has a cute bow on it, so I don't need an icon stick or anything. Makes it a little close to that car wash sticker, but I think it'll be fine overall. So that is it for Monday, and then I will move on to Tuesday. So for Tuesday, I am again starting with clinic this day. I had to stay from 8 to 12, same time as yesterday. And this time I just added in a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji that has a little pumpkin on its head. I thought it was so cute. And then after clinic was over, I came home and I was part of a panel for the people interviewing today. Everything is all online for them and so I just got to kind of hop on from my office and kind of check in and wish them good luck, answer any questions they had. Um, they were all really sweet and I could tell a lot of them were nervous and I felt bad because I have been there. I remember how it feels to be the one entering, interviewing for medical school and so I will be thinking of them today very glad I'm not interviewing right now, um, but I guess I'll be in their shoes next year when I'm applying for residencies. So then I put in a workout script, and I don't know if I said, but the workout script and then the Big Brother, like the ones that all look the same, those are all from Nightingale Paper Co. And then the other two over here are actually from Piper Paper Company. And so I will have all of my coupons and discount codes and PR codes and all of that down in the description for you to find. So I have a few errands to run and I'm trying to see if this is going to work with just a checklist. 
Um, so I need to go buy Best Buy. I'm trying to buy a new phone cover. I got to order the new iPhone uh, 12 Pro, but no one was carrying any phone covers for the longest time and my phone should be shipping soon and I was really worried about having to not have a phone cover on it. Um, and so once I saw the Best Buy, ooh, let's see if this is gonna fit. Once I saw the Best Buy had them in store, I'm going to run over and grab one before they sell out. And then I need to go by Walmart to get a few different household things. I think I'm out of shampoo and stuff like that. And then I know we're going to the movies tonight. I'm trying to figure out how I want to mark that. So if you saw my plan with me from probably a couple weeks ago, we went to the movies for the first time since I think it was February. And we were very comfortable. Every like They were being so great about being safe about everything. Um, I think I'm actually going to cut this down to three and then be able to move that up. But we felt very safe. There was only two other people in the entire movie theater. And so we were, were willing to go back now and you know, see some more movies. We're actually going to the, see the same movie tonight, but uh, that we saw earlier. But that's just because we're taking one of our friends with us who hasn't seen it. And we were kind of explaining to them how, like what all of our movie theater is doing to keep everyone safe and comfortable. And uh, hopefully it'll be still the same condition as it was earlier. But we're going to see Tenet. I don't know if I said that. Um, it was a really good movie, one that was making you think a lot. And so we thought we'd see it once. And now that we've seen it, we want to be able to see it again to kind of be able to catch some more things that we missed the first time because you get so caught up and just trying to pay attention and be smart, then you end up missing a lot of other stuff. Okay, so I cut this down to three. Let me see. Okay, yes. So this will still line up and that'll be perfect because I didn't really have anything else tomorrow. I was just gonna have to not make something up, but put something else in there. So then I'll just put what movie we're gonna see and what time. Our theater is only down to showing it twice a day, and so we felt like it was about to be leaving the theaters, and so we decided to go back. Tuesday is our movie theater's discount day, and so I'm really excited to see the movie again and hopefully be able to, you know, catch the things that I missed last time and be able to put a little bit more of it together now. We went into the movie the first time without knowing anything about it. We knew it was supposed to be a big uh, it was supposed to be the big movie this summer and then didn't come out because of everything and it's a Christopher Nolan movie and so we love those and we just figured we'd like it and so we didn't do any research on it. We just went one day and it was great. So now we will have to go back and see what all we missed. That is it for Tuesday and I'll move on to Wednesday now. Okay, so moving on to Wednesday, I once again had a clinic in the morning and so I'm just going to put that in with a, another half box. This time I'll be using a little computer Winston from Nightingale Paper Co. And that color is so dark that you can barely even read what I wrote, but that's fine. Um, and then I had a few things I needed to do this day. I had lost my school ID on Monday. And so I needed to go find where it was. Someone actually found it in the parking lot and returned it, but all they said was they returned it to security. And so I wasn't really sure what that meant. And I didn't want to be a bother and like ask them like specifically where they went. And so I just kind of did a little scavenger hunt around our school and eventually figured it out. But um, then after that, I just needed to change my Invisalign trays. I am almost done with my treatment with them. And so that'll be exciting to be done. I'm trying to figure out how I want to mark early voting. Um, let me go see what I have. Okay, so like I was saying, let me see if this is gonna fit. It's gonna be a tight fit. But I went and did my early voting today, went ahead and got that over with. Um, where I'm voting is pretty, I mean, it's always been really fast, but I've never done early voting before. And I wasn't sure how my schedule was going to look for actual election day. So I went ahead and went, man, this is gonna be a tight fit. Hmm. So I went ahead and tried out early voting this day and it actually went really well. Um, maybe took me 15 minutes, maybe even shorter than that. Um, I liked how those were all lined up at the top there, but 
It just seemed, okay, so I'm gonna keep that lined up. It seemed really crowded once I did that. So let me reevaluate what I wanna do. Maybe I'll push this guy down. So the little checklist will be at the bottom and then, well now this seems crooked. All right, well we are struggling today and that is fine. Okay, so I put that in. I just need, I wonder if I just put in like a strip of washi. This kit comes with so much washi, uh, or like the little washi strips, and they're fun to be able to pull in and just kind of take up some space. So let's see, I wonder if I need a bigger Winston now. Could use this size, okay, yes. So I think a bigger Yay Winston will be good. Alrighty, okay. I like putting the character stickers closer to the coil whenever I do have to write on like the actual paper for Wednesday. Kind of helps me still be able to write. All right, so let's just see. Well, that looks interesting, um, but it'll be fine. I'll, I'll make it work. And so I'll just kind of move the Winston over to take up a little bit more of that space. And then this night, um, so I'm gonna start from the bottom because we kind of just hung out. I watched a new girl back in college and I'm making my fiance watch it with me now. Let's see. Man, I do not like riding against a coil, but it's fine. So I put in a Once More With Love Munchkin, which is super cute. And what else do I have? Let me see if I would be able to fit in both cooking and what we ate. Oh, wait. Okay, Big Brother actually came on Wednesday night, so I need to mark that. I have my favorite little scripts from Nine Eagle Paper Co. So if I put that in, then I should have enough room then to mark what we had for dinner. Okay, <laughs> so I pulled out one of my uh, teeny tiny Winstons that is great for whenever I need to mark something. I only have a limited amount of space. So that can go in for us cooking carnita. Uh, I think we had carnita tacos, is that right? Aha, okay, that'll work. All right, so here's how the first half of my week turned out. Super fun, Wednesday was a struggle, but made it through and I'm fine with how it turned out. So now we will go to the second half of the week. Alrighty, so on Thursday, I'm sure you saw this coming, but I started the day in a clinic this morning. Um, man, I've just not been able to get things straight lately. Can't tell if it's the new Aaron Condren sizing, if it's me or what. Um, so I will try to work on that. Okay, that's a little bit better. So I have a once more, so I have a once more with love munchkin that is drinking some coffee and was how I looked this day. Um, I, I don't know, I was just so tired and so I needed coffee and then I needed a nap whenever I got home. I just, I don't know. It was one of those days. Okay, so I'm actually gonna move down to the bottom and figure out how I wanna do spacing on this. So we watched the final presidential debate. Even though we've already both actually voted, we just still wanted to be able to watch and see what was going on there. Okay. Then Big Brother came on this night. Cannot believe we're already down to the final three. I'm really excited uh, for finale night next week. So then I also worked out this day. I'm starting the last week of phase one for the 80 day program that I'm doing. And so it was my last time doing some of, or 
each day is different. So it was my last day doing this day's workout, which was exciting. Um, and then I will start a new phase and new set of workouts the next week, which will be fun. So the Big Brother script and the workout script are from a Nine Angle Paper Co. I'm sure you know that by now. Let's see. I'm about to actually need to order some more of the workout scripts because I have to use them so often. So then after I finished working out, I got in some new bins for my desk drawers and I wanted to finish organizing my drawers. I think it was last week I kind of completely took everything apart and just had a little bit of like a pen crisis slash organizing everything crisis. And so I needed these new bins to kind of finish what I was starting. And so now that I got those in, I could finish getting my office back together. Took me a second to get that straight. I was going to put in a laundry day script, um, but I don't really, I don't need another script. There's a lot going on here. So I'm just gonna put in laundry day with this. Okay, so that's it for Thursday and I'll move you on to Friday. So for the start of Friday, I was back in clinic this morning. It was my last day in clinic. I'm very excited to be moving on to another part of the rotation. So after clinic, I have just been studying. So I need to put that in. Let's see. Okay, if I study until four, that should give me plenty of time to be able to work out before we go to dinner. Um, I don't, I think we're just meeting Jeffrey's parents for dinner tonight. My parents may be coming, I'm not really sure. So just kind of same little setup with the washi strip and a workout script from Manuel Paper Paperco. I love how that's been going. And then I guess I can put in dinner with, let's see. Okay, so just have this little quarter box. Running low on this color, or options from the kit with those colors, so let's see. Let me wait and see where we're going for dinner before I write that in. But I know at, <laughs> once we get home from all of that, we will definitely be relaxing. So Jeffrey's actually on call until 6.30 today, and so I need to put that in so we can keep up with that. Then I'm sure we will be coming home to watch New Girl, which I'm really excited about. Alrighty, so that is it for Friday. I will put in where we are having a dinner, um, either once I find out or tomorrow, but I will then move you on to Saturday. Okay, we started the day on Saturday by going to shop for our wedding bands, which mine was pretty easy because Jeffrey actually had a custom ring made for me, and so there was already a band um, that matched my ring. I can't talk and write. Okay, so mine was really simple since there was already a band that matched my ring out there. And so we just had to get that. And then for Jeffrey, we actually had to do some shopping and thinking and figure out what he liked. And we ended up finding him the cutest band. Well, I say cute. That doesn't sound like a good way to describe a uh, <laughs> wedding ring or wedding band for a guy. But we found him the perfect ring that I was kind of surprised by because he kept saying that he just wanted like the most simple thing. And I mean, it's his ring, so I'm fine with whatever he wants. But he ended up finding something that was... Darn, that doesn't fit there. That, I mean, it was still pretty simple. It's uh, silver and everything, but it just had 
a little bit of something extra for it to not just be plain silver and so that was exciting and his was actually already like a ready to go um like we we had to order mine and then with his we just got to go home with it <laughs> so that was fun so these are both from a once more with love i love all of the like couple collection that she has with all of her munchkins and then the coffee cup that I use for marking studying at Rhino this afternoon is from the Crafty Banana. I love being able to get my name on, like it's a custom coffee cup, so I love being able to get my name on the coffee cup. Because if you haven't noticed, I have a pretty unique name, um, and so it's hard to find things with my name on it. And so I love being able to get stuff like that where I can make it a little bit more personal. Okay, so we'll come back up to this top part in a second, but after we finished studying, we came home and then watched the LSU game. It was really exciting to see them be able to like actually do well and win, so that's always fun. I have a little Winston from Mining Paper Paperco, and then I'm gonna have another one here. So we ended up just picking up Whataburger for dinner, which is fine. It's probably a good game night meal anyways. Okay, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to mark a cold front coming through, and that's actually gonna be too big. So let's see. I'm trying to use a Fall Winston from Nightingale Paper Co. He is just so stinking cute. This is the sheet I have from her shop, and I'm trying to see if any, is that still the same size? Hmm. Okay, so I have a mini Winston sheet from her that may work better. Okay, so it's going to be pretty tiny, but at least it'll fit. I guess I could do this one too. Well, you can kind of tell with the cold front that he's all bundled up but him throwing up leaves is pretty adorable. Okay, so I'm gonna use the one throwing up the leaves and then we can just put this back and I will get around to using it later. Okay, I love Benny Winston. <laughs> it's just so tiny and adorable. So let's put that. Well, I don't love how that turned out. I may actually put it on a label. Okay, I think I'm gonna put it on a label because I don't really love that. So let's see. Okay, so I can wipe this out. I know you're probably thinking it is so silly with how much I rearrange everything and wipe everything back out, but I look back on this planner and I keep all of these planners and I just wanna make sure everything's Perfect. Okay, so that'll be good to just cover up whatever was happening before and it is all good to go. So that is it for Saturday and then I will move you on to Sunday. Okay, so for Sunday I started the day by sleeping in. That is one of my favorite things to do on Sunday. So last night I actually started watching this movie and I went ahead and finished it this morning and I watched A Walk to Remember. It was one of my favorite movies growing up. I just, I love everything that Nicholas Sparks does, but this one is just extra sweet and I just, I haven't watched it in forever. I saw it was on Netflix and so I decided to watch it today and or I guess over two days, but I, I forgot just like really how sweet it was. So let's see. I think I want to, I want to be able to put something else in between that so that it's not two scripts too close to each other. So I'm going to put this in and then I have a half box to mark studying this day. Stickers on these kids just kept getting stuck. There we go. But I got it. 
So both of these are Winston's from Nine Angle Paper Co. One is a bundled up Winston and like a sweater drinking coffee. The other one just has the hard eyes and then the sleep in script is from Virgo and Paper. Her scripts are just so bold and fun. So then I have a laundry day script from Piper Paper Company to mark doing laundry this day. So then all I need is a washi strip. So I'll put in my workout and I'm, I normally like to do my day in chronological order, but now that I use scripts so much, I kind of need to spread them out. So we're going to put the workout down there and then I just need to fill in this space. Okay, for up here, I'm going to mark just planning next week, or I could put finishing up the plan with me. Let's see. We're going to do that because finishing up the plan with me is going to take more time than planning next week. Okay. I've really gone in the groove of filming and getting everything going for y'all. I really, I just, I love filming a lot more than I thought I would. And I'm still, you know, getting used to it and making sure everything looks good for y'all. Um, talking while planning has been a completely different thing to try out, but it's been nice to be able to think or talk through my process with you. And hopefully you will enjoy this and it won't be too long. Okay, so the last thing I have to put in, which this isn't a perfect match, but it'll do. I just need to prep for next week. I have a long day in the hospital every day this week, and so I just need to get ready and like get lunches together and all of that. Alrighty, so that is it for Sunday, and that wraps up this week. I will flip out uh, the planner and show you how the full spreads are now. Hey, here is the finished spread. This kit was so pretty, and I'm so glad I decided to use it again. It is just screaming fall, and I love it, especially now that it's starting to feel like fall where I live. So I hope you enjoyed a different style of playing with me. I'm not sure how often it'll be able to happen. Um, the voiceovers are just kind of easier for me, but I thought I'd try something new. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.